Okay, in chapter three, section two, we're gonna be solving systems of inequalities. So in 3.1, we were solving systems of equations. So we had like our two equations and we had to solve for x and y. Now we're solving systems of inequalities. Anybody remember what an inequality is? Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So solving a system of inequality means finding the ordered pairs that satisfy all the inequalities in the system. Step one when solving our system of inequalities is to graph each inequality. So each one is going to have two graphs. So we graph our first equation and then graph our second one. Remember when graphing inequalities, that means we have to shade. So we need to make sure we shade for each inequality. And then our final answer is going to be the area that's shaded for both of them. So the shading that overlaps is our final answer. So this brings us to our first example. So we need to solve the system of inequalities. First thing we're going to have to do is graph. All of these equations are going to be in slope-intercept form. So we first graph our y-intercept and then do the slope. We're going to take one equation at a time. So first one we're going to look at is our first equation. So y is greater than 2x minus 4. What is our y-intercept here? Four. Negative 4. So our graph crosses the y-axis at negative 4. So we can put a point there. And then what's our slope? 2, or 2 over 1, so we can see our rise over run. So we're going to go up 2 and to the right 1 and put a point there. Now we can connect these two points with either a solid line or a dotted line. Which one, what type of line is this going to have? If we just have a greater than sign, what does that mean our line is going to be? A dotted line. So we got to connect our two dots with a dotted line. Next, we need to shade. So how do we find out how to shade? Plug in 0, 0. So we plug in 0 for x and 0 for y. So 0 is greater than or equal to, greater than, 2 times 0 minus 4. So 0 is greater than negative 4. Is this true? So where are we going to shade? Above or below? Above. above. So we shade where that 0, 0 is, which is above. So that takes care of our first line. Now we need to do the second one. So we're going to do the same thing. We have y is less than or equal to negative 0.5x plus 3. What is our y-intercept? Three. So that means we cross the y-axis at 3. And then what's our slope? So it's 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 over 1. How can we write 0 0.5 as a fraction? Um, one half. Perfect. So this would be negative one half. So I just changed our negative 0.5 to a fraction. So now our rise is negative 1 and our run is 2. If our rise is negative, do we go up or down? Down. down. So we go to the down 1 and to the right 2. And put our point there. Are we going to connect these two points with a solid line or dotted line? Solid. solid. We have a less than or equal to 
So it's a solid line. Now what do we do? We need a shade. So how do we find out where we're going to shade? Zero, zero. So you plug in zero for y and zero for x. So zero is less than or equal to three. Is this true? Yeah, this is true. So are we going to shade above the red line or below the red line? Below. So we shade everywhere below the red line. So now our answer here is just the overlapping part. So our answer is just the purple part. We can erase everything else. So we're just looking at the purple part. And then we're done. That's it. Any questions here? So our answer is only the purple part, so that's all we want is the purple part. We're going to erase the blue and the red. So we only look at what's overlapping, and we don't want anything else. All right, let's look at another example. So here we have our two equations. Our first one is y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. First thing we need to do is graph it. What's our y-intercept? Five. Remember, our y-intercept always comes from our b here, whatever is being added or subtracted. Ms. Carm, can you go back to the graph for the first one? Yeah, I'll go back at the end. Okay. So we're going to go up 5. Put a point there. What's our slope? Negative 2. Negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. So we can see our rise and our run. So if our rise is negative, does that mean we're going to go up or down? Down. So we go down 2 and to the right 1. Put a point there. Do we connect these two dots with a solid line or dotted line? Solid. solid. Perfect. We have that equal to, so it's going to be solid. Next, we need to figure out where we're going to shade. What do we plug in to test that? Zero, zero. So we have zero is less than or equal to negative two times zero plus five. So zero is less than or equal to five. Is this true? Yes. So where are we going to shade? Above or below? Or to the left or right? This one's kind of hard. Do we shade where 0, 0 is or where it's not? Where it is, because it's true. So we shade to the left side of our line here. All right, now that we shaded, we move on to our second line. So we have y is greater than negative 1 over 4x minus 6. What is our y-intercept? negative 6. So our graph crosses the y-axis at negative 6. We can put our point there. What's our slope? Negative 1 fourth. So our rise is negative 1 and our run is 4. So if our rise is negative, do we go up or down? down. So we go down 1 and to the right 4. So our next point is going to be there. Do we connect these two lines with a solid, these two dots with a solid line or dotted line? 
You just have a greater than sign. So what is it? Dotted. dotted. So we put our dotted line there. Okay, next we need to test where we're going to shade. So what do we plug in? Zero, zero. So plug in zero for x and zero for y. So zero is greater than negative one fourth times zero minus six. That means zero is greater than negative six. Is this true? Is zero greater than negative six? Yep. So do we shade above this line or below? Above. So we're going to shade everything above here. But we only care about the purple part, what overlaps. So then we can erase everything else. We're going to erase the blue part and the red part because we only care about the purple, what overlaps. Any questions on this one? So we go up one, over one, put a point there. Do we connect our two points with a solid line or dotted line? Dotted, dotted line. So since it's just less than, that means it's a dotted line. Now we need to figure out what we're, where we're going to shade. So what do we plug in? Mm -hmm. Zero, zero. So we have zero is less than. 0 minus 4, so 0 is less than negative 4. Is this true? No. no. So where are we going to shade? Below. So we shade where 0, 0 is not. Do we have any purple parts here? Any parts that overlap? No. So here, our answer would be no solution. So if we ever have no overlapping, our answer is no solution. Any questions? Last example for the day, yay. So again, we start by graphing. For the first one, we have y is greater than or equal to negative 4x plus 8. What is our y-intercept? 8. So we go up 8. Put a point there. What's our slope? Negative 4 over 1. So we have our rise and our run. If our rise is negative, are we going to go up or down? Down. So we go down 4 and to the right 1. Do we connect our two points with a solid line or dotted line? solid. And then next we need to shade. So how do we find out where we're going to shade? Plug in 0, 0. So 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4 times 0 plus 8. 0 is greater than or equal to 8. Is this true? No. So where are we going to shade? 
above, where 0, 0 is not. All right, so next, we have y is less than negative 4x plus 4. What's our y-intercept? 4. So we go up 4, put a point there. What's our slope? Negative 4 over, four, over 1. So we have our rise and our run. A rise is negative, so do we go up or down? So we go down four to the right one. Do we connect these two points with a solid line or dotted line? Dotted. dotted. And then we can test zero, zero to find out where we're gonna shade. So we have 0 is less than negative 4 times 0 plus 4. 0 is less than 4. Is this true? Yes. Yes. So where are we going to shade? Under. Under. We shade where 0, 0 is. So what would be our answer here? No solution. Awesome. So this is another one where they don't overlap in any place, so this would be no solution.